Hello, welcome back. I just uh, started fixing a laptop here and I said uh, just to record it and show you. Uh, this specific one is a Lenovo Yoga. The, the specific model is uh, Yoga 900-131SK. Uh, and this one came with a problem on the screen. The screen uh, lost connection all of a sudden, the customer told me that uh, the laptop was working fine and suddenly the screen uh, shuts off. He doesn't see anything on the screen, but the laptop continues to work on the background. All right. I have the charger here. All right. The laptop is on. Yes, we have picture. All right, and let's try to tap the connector. Yeah. It does the same thing again. Look at this. I tap the connector and it loses the connection. On I tap on the ribbon cable on the connector. This is really weird. Look at this. So what the hell? What's going on? I tap it here. It's a broken connector. I do it like this. This is really weird. So we have picture again. You can see it. But once I tap on the connector, you see? All right. It's not on the connector, it's on the ribbon cable. Once I press it, I don't know if you can see that. Once I press this, see? When I press on this specific area here, it loses the connection. So it's like moving inside the connector it's like slips inside the connector and loses the connection inside you see now it's off totally off The laptop is on. No. It's off. No, it's on. It went on sleep mode. 
So if I press here, I don't know if you can see that. Probably you can. I can turn it this way so you can see. So if I press here, you see the screen here? It's a very weird problem. Hmm. Okay, let me turn off the laptop. Trying to use your hand on opposite way to turn off a laptop is difficult. All right, I did it. Let's see. What would you do here? The ribbon cable seems fine, unless there is something broken inside. I can see. I understand. So this. Let's check the pins. Something is losing connections when, once you tap the ribbon cable. This is moving. Is it normal to move this one? I guess so. Can I check this? Well, the, co the connector seems to to have been reflowed by someone. I don't think so. This is factory, I don't know. Probably, yes. What about these pins here? Let me get closer. These ones. Good. This is moving. Hmm.
Yeah. So the problem here, the, the, the pins, as you can see, are moving, are not solid. Look at this. If I move this, it moves on top also. Did you see it? So this is not making a solid connection. It moves. So it's a broken connector. So we have to reflow all the pins. This is a tricky job. Okay, we could probably do it with a soldering gun from the back with some flux, just touch up all the pins one by one. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so give me one moment to prepare my soldering gun, choose the correct tip, get some flux and we'll do the job together. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I chose a really small tip, let me show you, of my soldering iron gun. It's the smallest I have and it's a bent one. So if you check on the microscope, it actually fits exactly on its pin. So we can reflow, we can resolder, we can retouch actually, that's the correct term, its pin. Uh, so we will use some flux first. Let me turn on the soldering gun. I think that's okay. We're going to use some flux here in order to avoid having bridges. Alright. Okay, that's enough. So let's begin one by one. is moving so we need to touch up again this is the third one this one fourth one no it's okay the third one so remember the third one this is okay good this is moving, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, the ninth one. It keeps moving. So we need to do them once again. Probably we need more temperature. I'm going to raise it to 450 degrees. I'm going to put some solder on my tip. So, 450. Right. So, let's do it again.
the connector seems good. It's clean here also. Nice. Let's use some air to dry out the alcohol. Perfect. Okay. So let's test again. Let me switch to the microscope so I can show you the connector here. Put it inside. All right. So let's turn on the laptop and test again. Okay, the laptop is on. We have screen. Nice. So let's tap the connector and see if we have the same reaction. No. Problem is fixed. You see, I'm tapping on the same spot. And the problem has been resolved. So it was a bad connection on the LCD connector. We retouched the pins one by one and we fixed the problem. That was the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.